Welcome to Veda, day four. It is about two o'clock. I have taught five periods today. I'm on my prep, which is the last period of the day. And then I have to go to class for three hours. I haven't been, um, all my classes have been canceled the last two and a half weeks, so well, I used to be used to going to classes nine hours a week. I have to get back into it. Um, so not really looking forward to that. And I'm so sleepy. Um, today was really exhausting as far as teaching science days goes because we started a three-day lab. And well, some of my students are really great, and I pretty much give them a lab that's like, just read, just follow these instructions and you'll know exactly what to do. But that's like sometimes too much <laughs> or they just want to like go too fast and then they like miss things. I'm like, I don't know what to draw here. I'm like, well, what step are you on? Oh, I'm on step E. I'm like, well, have you actually read step E? Because it tells you exactly word for word what to draw. But um, it's, it's a good learning experience and they got to learn at actual cells under the microscope today. Um, as opposed to looking at just like newspaper threads. So it's worthwhile. It's just so, so exhausting, um, especially with seventh graders because you have to watch them like a hawk <clears throat> and make sure they, um, they're not like doing who knows what. Um, I feel like I'm losing my voice just from teaching. I feel like my voice is just always shot. And I'm kind of considering looking into like vocal warm-ups and exercises because I'm not like yelling but I'm definitely using my voice at a higher volume most of the day especially when we're in the lab room which is not this room it's a different room it's a little bigger and just noisier Ooh, I'm so tired I'll probably get caffeine of some sort before going to class because that classroom is dark and I'll fall asleep. So today in class, we will be talking about uh, like collaboration, I think. We haven't had that class for uh, we had spring break. And the week before spring break, I was sick. So I wasn't there for that class. And then we didn't have class last week because the school we have the class at was closed and there was no way to get into that school because they had Monday off. So yeah. I think we're talking about collaboration and like collaboration between teachers and between like staff members and between parents in special ed and with special ed students. So tonight's my special ed class um, or my SPED class where we learn about how to teach with special education students in our classroom. It's actually interesting. There are good discussions that go on, um, but being the child of a special education teacher, and being exposed to that all my life, I feel like sometimes it's just like, am I learning anything new? Um, especially since I'm already in the classroom and I already attend IEPs and 504s like all the time. So I'm kind of like learning it after I've actually done it. Um, this is not a flattering angle at all, but. I think that's all for now. Maybe I'll have more of it later. Maybe I won't.